Our shadows are everything we think we aren't. They are an accumulation of our stored darkness we refuse to look at and accept. They are everything we reject and hate within our own beings, such as our own anger, jealousy, fear, shame, lies, ignorance, intolerance, bitterness, and reactivity. Our shadows hold everything we think is bad, and since we only want to accept our good qualities, all of our deepest, darkest secrets get pushed to the background, stored in our energy fields, creating our shadows. Whatever we feel is not acceptable to reveal to our family, friends, society, and ourselves is hidden within our shadows. In order to be accepted and feel good about ourselves, we reject those parts of our psyches we don't want to show to the world. Unfortunately, all of these rejected aspects of ourselves still remain with us and are covered up by all of our social masks. However, these negative aspects are still parts of our beings and they will continue to show themselves when we least expect it. Regardless of how much we try to suppress them, they are there, seeking attention, healing, and transformation. At a certain point on our journey back to wholeness, our shadows will reveal themselves. What seemed like a straight path back to love, light, and unification all of a sudden takes an unexpected turn when the dark aspects of ourselves begin to make themselves known. Our shadows remind us where we need to focus for a deeper level of healing. They show us our repressed emotions, feelings, dysfunctions, history, denials, weaknesses, addictions, and patterns. We do not need to fear our shadows. In fact, we need to learn how to embrace them. Our shadows will only show up when we are ready to truly move into wholeness, gain our highest soul's potential, and become the master of our lives. We must move through our darkness before we will truly be able to fully step into the light of our divinity. When we acknowledge the information our shadows provide and accept their teachings, our shadows become the bridges between the darkness of our fears to the light of redemption and unification. Our higher souls know when it is time to clear our energy and begin to live our lives in a different way when our higher souls feel we are ready, our shadows will be brought forth, and each of us will be called to find the inner strength to face them so we can transform them. This part of ourselves can no longer be denied. It must be acknowledged, transformed, and integrated into our beings before we will be able to raise our vibrations to our highest potentials. When things in our lives take a turn for the worst, and we can't figure out what we are doing to create these circumstances, we can be sure that our higher souls have decided it is time for us to meet and heal our shadows. Our shadows are held in place by the unconscious parts of the mind that need healing. These unconscious parts are like sub-personalities that were created from our unwillingness to fully feel our negative feelings because we perceived them to be bad. Since we have not been taught how to deal with these negative feelings in a healthy way, we stuff them in our subconscious mind, creating our shadows. These parts of ourselves get disconnected from our conscious selves because we only want to deal with what makes us feel good. Unfortunately, the human experience does not always feel good, and our uncomfortable feelings must be dealt with, or we will continue to stuff things in our unconscious minds, creating darker, larger shadows, moving us further and further away from the light of our God-selves. 
Denial of our negative feelings does not make them go away. In order to transform them, they must be fully experienced so they can be acknowledged and healed. If we continue to avoid these unpleasant feelings, they will continue to influence our behaviors and will be like little magnets that continue to attract people and situations into our lives that we would rather not be involved with. When we feel as if there is something outside of ourselves creating our life circumstances and we want to blame others, we need to stop and realize that it is our shadowy sub-personalities that are magnetizing these events into our lives. These parts of ourselves have been disowned and they are drawing attention to themselves so they can be welcomed back into our beings and be healed. This can only occur if we choose to receive the gifts our shadows are trying to show us and acknowledge our emotions, feelings, and behaviors as parts of our beings. If we deny the shadow consciousness, it will continue to persist. Bringing our conscious awareness to it and accepting it as part of our beings shines light on it, transmuting it into love. Once all of these disowned aspects of our beings are integrated, we will no longer need to draw unpleasant situations into our lives. The unwillingness to look at ourselves honestly and make the changes necessary to evolve our souls is the essence of hypocrisy. We must accept accountability, responsibility, and ownership of our own darkness and misqualified energy. We all have shadows, and the only way to transform them is to shine light on them through our increased awareness and willingness to stop rejecting those parts of ourselves that we don't want to own. Be aware that your shadow and negative ego support each other because they are both disowned aspects of the soul that we have separated from the light of our God selves. Healing means to make ourselves whole. By disowning and rejecting our egos and shadow consciousness, we fragment ourselves into separate beings, keeping us from reaching a state of unification and wholeness. In order for us to remember ourselves, bringing us into a state of healing and wholeness, we must recognize and own our shadows so we can transform our egos, bringing more of our true divine essence into our beings. Both the ego and the shadow support each other because the main job of the ego is to keep us in separation, fragmented from our God selves. In fact, your ego will deny that your shadow is part of your being in any way. The ego knows if we recognize and heal our shadows, our shadows will be integrated into our God selves, which means the ego will be out of a job and will be integrated as well. In order to keep the shadow from being acknowledged, the ego will assist the shadow by helping the shadow to distance itself from its source of discomfort, which creates further separation and denial within our beings. For example, when we see someone misbehaving or being bad, we pass judgment and immediately label it as not us. We blame and point fingers at everyone else for their inappropriate behavior, projecting those parts of ourselves we have denied onto them, making ourselves superior to all the other people out there who could never, never be reflections of something out of alignment within ourselves. That's the ego and the shadow working together. The ego loves to reinforce its sense of separateness by making us feel justified and self-righteous in our blaming. The ego's basic premise is that of victimhood, and a victim must always have someone to blame. 
Because our shadows avoid everything unpleasant, they will avoid taking responsibility for the co-creation of the circumstance and stuff it in the subconscious mind, simply wanting it to go away and leave us alone. Unfortunately, this perpetuates and intensifies our darkness, keeping our rejected parts inside the shadow and away from the light of our God selves. The shadow holds all the darkness from every traumatic event we have ever endured and have not cleared from our subconscious minds. In order for us to fully step into our light, resolve our karma, and raise our vibrations, we must face and clear all of those things we refuse to accept about ourselves. This is why our relationships are often referred to as mirrors. Whatever we see in another person that provokes an uncomfortable reaction is usually a good indicator of a characteristic or sub-personality within our own beings that needs to be accepted and healed as well. We tend to see in other people similar qualities we have personally disowned. They are mirroring back to us our own shadows. Anger, hatred, jealousy, and bitterness can only hurt us if they are denied. When we suppress our emotions and feelings because we have been taught they are wrong, our shadows enlarge, keeping us from accessing greater amounts of light. Once our feelings are embraced and we learn what they are trying to teach us, they will no longer be stored in our shadows demagnetizing the charge they once had on us. For example, if we see someone overreacting and it doesn't provoke a reaction, emotion, or feeling within our beings, then we can be sure we have owned this aspect of ourselves because it will no longer have a charge within our beings. We will be able to have compassion for this person knowing that a part of his or her shadow has risen up to the surface to be acknowledged and healed. Neutrality, not denial, is a good sign that you are integrating those aspects of yourself that used to enrage you. However, if you continue to attract repetitive situations with people who keep demonstrating a similar type of behavior that provokes a reaction in you, then you can be sure the universe is trying to show you a disowned aspect of yourself that needs to be owned and integrated within your being. The universe is lovingly bringing situations to each one of us, helping us to heal and step into wholeness. When we have demagnetized all of our shadow consciousness, we will no longer attract negative relationships to show us our hidden aspects that we've been in denial about. We will no longer need another person to mirror our shadow back to us, and we will naturally move toward those relationships that reflect back our light. Before we can be healed of any condition, body, mind, or soul, we must be willing to take ownership of our creations before we can truly let them go, releasing them into the light of God. Each of us is affected by our own levels of shadow consciousness and ego distortions. For the most part, this is not intentional. It is usually an unconscious act of self-deception that our shadows and egos thrive on. However, raising our vibrations, merging with our God selves, and entering the kingdom of God requires us to bring everything we have been avoiding unconsciously into our conscious awareness so it can be healed. Energy never dies. It must be transformed. If we do not face our shadows, feel them and clear them, we will not be able to raise our vibrations high enough for our God selves to merge with our beings. We have to transform our darkness into light, and the only way to do that is to bring it into our conscious awareness 
and look at it with brutal self-honesty. We need to clear out our energy fields and face our lies, shame, blame, and anger. We must stop denying the negativity that lives within our beings and face it so we can heal ourselves and become whole and authentic. These negativities are the very things we are here on earth to heal. We are in a constant state of being refined and our ego and shadow work will not end until we have purified ourselves enough to be completely absorbed back into the light of the creator of all that is. Some examples of shadow reactions. Anything that feels as if it isn't you. Feelings and emotions others provoke in you that you just want to go away. Your shadow is all of your rejections. All the feelings and emotions you don't want to own. All the out of character emotions or reactions that are showing up in your life. These are the hidden sub personalities stored in your subconscious that want to be healed. Any aspects of yourself that you don't want others to see and so you wear a fake mask. Our deepest, darkest, and most terrible secrets and our resistances. What we resist persists. Some signs that you are integrating your shadow and ego. You notice behaviors in others, but have no need to react or respond. Other people's behaviors no longer create a feeling or an emotion in you. They do not trigger an internal alarm or create repetitive negative mind chatter. You are becoming neutral. You no longer blame the other person or berate yourself when a shadow aspect shows up. You acknowledge and accept the disowned parts of your being, shining the light of your consciousness on them so they can be transmuted and healed. You are pulling yourself out of the blame and denial. You are able to fully embrace and fully love all parts of yourself, even the parts that aren't so great. This is self-love. You embrace your humanity with determination and acceptance, knowing that when your shadow consciousness arises, this is a positive sign that shows healing is occurring in your life. You are allowing all of your disowned shadowy sub-personalities to be demagnetized through your acceptance, transcendence, and healing of them. And your life has become more peaceful and your circumstances, relationships, and interactions are becoming more positive. 